Right. Do you want to write this tweet for me? I will write this tweet. Uh, I will I write this do tweet. I like writing tweets for you, but I'm worried they're going to get in the game too quick. Okay. I mean, you Hopefully have to start they... it with, yo. Yo. All right. Yo. Caps, yo. Please. Hashtag NCR2015. Hashtag NCR2015. Hashtag SSBM. Hashtag SSBM. I'm, I'm, okay, usually we do the, the hashtags like later Top in the tweet. Eight. Hashtag no, top I, eight. I use okay. it like no, not not hashtag. As in the sense, I, I know you're. I use say. it don't like even, a, don't even finish okay, the sentence. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. Top eight is going on now. Now in caps. Ow. With me. With me. And at Bobby Scar on the Mizike. And don't say Mizike. No, it's too late. All right. On twitchtv slash team Spooky. On the S P double O K. No, just. All right, just Mike. Mike. <laughs> So Tof is going to tweet that out, at Tof underscore BBQ. Please retweet it, because I want to see the viewers skyrocket. Uh, skyrocket. I want, I want it to explode. All right. You need to talk about the match while I finish this tweet. Because cannot... you're doing God's work right now, Tof. Social media? Wow. Uh, what is SFAT's name on this thing? At SFAT19 or something like that. Just do it at SFAT. You'll find it. I don't know, man. Internet's bad. It okay. it's, it's doing your hashtags. It's doing it wrong. Oh Twitter's my! Twitter's freaking out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think social media is super important for for uh, for, the, for esports right now for fighting game. Yeah. We yes. need to we need to work it. Work that. I know there's lots of people who love Super Smash Bros. Melee and Marvel and Street Fighter, but they don't know that this tournament is happening. Yes. They don't know that this tournament is happening right now. Yeah, they need to know. We need, need to let to them know. know. So anyway, all right. I looked up at my screen for the first time, and wow, is Esfat getting bot? So he got killed in a very unlucky fashion before going for an edge guard, but Pew Pew got the uppy out right in time and got the beefy hitbox. Ooh, okay, Esfat got stage spike. So that, that was that was uh, you know not representative of like you know I don't know. It wasn't like a neutral. It was just like a thing that happened. I'll throw up her. On Yoshi's story, that will definitely do it. Yep. There's a bit of a triangle sort of thing with, uh, it's funny because, you know, three of the best characters in the game, Fox, Marth, and Sheik, um, kind of comprise the top tier along with Falco and, like, arguably, like, Puff or Peach, but anyway. Uh, Marth kind of has a little bit of an edge on Fox, sort of, maybe on paper, I don't know. Fox kind of has an edge on Sheik yep. and Sheik on Marth. They're all, like, very, very close, though. I mean, like... Sheik has the biggest edge on Marth, I would say. That's the these most, days like, well, I'm these days I'm not even sure. Okay. But yeah, like I mean they're five five four five if anything. But anyway, okay, cool. Um, it's funny because within NorCal's top three too, there is a very similar yeah. triangle. Um, and and they, and they play us, all those characters. Yeah. And Pupu is showing us right now like why um, why Martha's has like all the tools in the world he needs to defeat Fox McCloud. However, I would say that uh, that despite. Despite the stocks, I think that uh, they've played a pretty even match so far. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think that S -Fat is, have Yeah, I don't think S Fat's getting super outplayed. No, but that would be. Oh, never mind. Yeah, good recovery. Okay. Oh. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be it. Tipper, even with good DI, uh, again, it just sends Fox so far away. Oh. All right. Game one goes to White Marth Pew Pew. And this is uh, Grand Final, so this is best out of five. Ready? No bands. Back to Fountain. Uh, they did this before, right? Did Esfat win? How close was it? I don't remember. Ooh. Really nice. Uh, you know, the, the one thing that I, I don't remember either. The one thing that um, this stage affords, like, a lot of characters that, that other stages don't, is that uh, you can do really interesting stuff off those low oh. platforms. That was unfortunate from Esfat. He got the tech and he got the fastball, uh, yeah. which are both the things that you want to do. Wow, that was a sick edge guard. That's gonna be it. Yeah, that was nice. And if it looked you, like uh, if you ever shine Marth and he's he doesn't have his double jump, he's dead. So pretty much, yeah. That's like the one way Fox can get uh, you know Marth esque uh, gimps on Marth is um, with his shine. And by, can you tell, can you tell me about big? You tell me about this pressure from Esfat right now. You see the movement. Yeah, he's Beautiful making it really spacing. hard for uh, for Pew Pew to move out of his shield. Yeah, basically he's like, Ooh. wow. Speaking of beautiful spacing, he absolutely just whip punished that forward air. Extremely tight dash dance away from the forward air and just like came right back in and up smash. That's that was a whip punish. Yeah, you need very very specific spacing and timing to do that. It's super hard to whip punish in this game because like the, the recovery on moves is so low. Yeah, there are a lot of moves that like and 
Also, because characters like Marth, Sheik, that have low lag on their aerials. Yeah. The other thing that this game has is the ability to drift back and forth in your in your air mobility. So, like, when you're in the air, it is ambiguous, and you can make it ambiguous where you will land, which means the spacing on the whiff punish will then change. Super hard. Right. Not, not wow. 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 Wow, PPU. That was a very creative combo. He hit him with a... Oh. He hit him with a weak hit. Forward air, reverse. weak hit reverse forward air. Uh, oh, and then okay. the neutral B sends him the wrong way. Yeah. Unfortunate. Nice Ooh, grab. Flubs that nair. I have to wonder if the rising platform made it more difficult for him to get the tipper off yeah, that up Yeah, it probably did. Uh, I was actually just about to say that uh, PPU has been opting to do up throw tipper a good bit. Uh, seems really good to me. Yeah, I. Ooh, ooh, he gets, like, fast fell too fast? I think so. He held down past the ledge. Look, looking like Battlefield. Yeah. Fountain Dreams wanting to be Battlefield. Yeah. Please pick me more. Yeah, please pick me more. You can strike here too. <laughs> Forward tilt. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Ooh! Nice. Sneaks in there with a shine uh, and then converts it in the up smash. Keep you died off of the right side. He DI'd so well. Yeah. Sometimes DI, well, what percent was he on? Like over 100? Oh, he was dead. At that point, yeah, there's nothing you can do. It's funny. Oh, I got bad news. Yeah, go ahead. My ears hurt, dude. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes, dude. My ears how, are hurting right that's now. That's how it goes, dude. This is like, this is like the old days. Ooh, this is like the old days with I Dimmer, dude. I don't miss the old days. Ooh, dude. I hate the old days. Dimmer used to always talk about, like, dude, I got these headphones. Same headphones that Spooky has. They're, they're, the, they're the same headphones that Spooky has. I want to be like Senpai. Spencer. You know? <laughs> Spencer. My ears. <laughs> All right. Beautiful stock by Espat. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. Spooky's laughing. I didn't want, Bob, I didn't want him to hear. Spooky yeah. had his headset his head off, but I didn't, I didn't want him to hear. <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I miss the, the my ears are jokes. My ears are we too can't big. Do, we can't, Gibber got new headsets and they're like super comfortable, so like we don't complain about them. Oh wow, what an answer! Okay, so this has been a super clean game. This has been a, both uh, a little bit of slop on that FOD game. Like yeah. they had some flubs. No flubs are, are happening right no, now. No, and that that as well, just pixel perfect. Uh, SFAT messed up one small thing, he got grabbed, and uh, he was pretty much just being taken for a ride yeah. for the rest of the time. Gee, wow. Both players, okay, so like everything this is, that a, is, this is a combo video. This is a combo, combo video. video game. <laughs> Every, looks like been like. All right. Nice recovery from PBU. He needs to. Wow. This, this game is insane. Yeah. Each stock has just been disappearing. Basically zero to death. Yeah. Touch oh. of touch of death to touch of death. Okay. Nice, nice. Oh, wow. PPU trying to reestablish some stage. Esfet's doing some. Okay, I was gonna say he's picking really oh. good times to do the nair to come in and stuff PPU's uh, escape out of the corner. But yeah. right then he gets power shield grabbed. Which I just feel like versus good Marth, like nair is such a big commitment. Like actually it running is. in and jumping at them and nair. Right, right. It's it's a huge commitment. That's why the, when SFAT was doing it, the only time he was doing it was PPU was already trapped in the corner, so PPU didn't have dash back. Yeah. The reason it's tough is because Marth can dash back and grab you, but if you push them to the corner of the stage, you take stage from them. Then that's Ooh. when Nair becomes good. Oh, no! that's fat. And PewPew Pew bumps his fist. How did that happen? He he air, he did killed he him. Fast fall? He wanted to air dodge back to the stage, and he air dodged a little too far off. I feel like if he held in towards the stage, he would have grabbed the He would have landed on the stage. I think so. Anyway, this is almost a heartbreaking situation for S Fat. Oh, oh, Phantom hit. But he keeps it going anyway. Uh oh. All right, S Fat living. Yep. Impressive shield work for PPU right now. He's actually yeah. like putting up the shield in all the right spots. Uh -oh. Gets a forward smash off. That's, that's, that it. It. that's it, dude. The DI was not there. That is a rough. That oh, is yeah. a rough game. Oh yeah. Esfet was doing quite well. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Definitely don't want to see uh, an SD like that. Oh, Super no. low percent off of a masterful kill. You know. Yeah, like, and it was just one of those things where like you'd rather not up be because you know it's like a, a slight optimization, but it ended up majorly backfiring. Definitely. All right, this could be the last game of the tournament. Dreamland is a really, really good stage for Fox against Marth. Only stage of the game where Marth can't really like use his sword to like hit the side platforms that well. Yeah, because they're so tall, it's so a big. Notorious anti-Marth stage. Yeah. Any fast faller is basically gonna gonna want to fight Marth here, I think. Oh, goes for an up smash. 
Yeah, if PBU sweet spots uh, properly, that won't work. Mm -hmm. Nice! Oh. Wow, that was a really nice jab. He's living? What percent does Marth die from up smash? I feel like that was a percent away. Uh oh. Wow. Huh. PBU. Uh. He could have made better work with that situation yeah. for sure. Alright, gets the grab. Come on, where's the tipper? Good roll into shine. This vet is now moving really, really well. I uh, I want to say. Oh! oh my god. Is that the stock? That's, That's the it. Stop. Marth without a jump, dude. Marth without a jump is, is pretty dead meaty. Wow. That was. Oh my god. What a conversion. Because you have so little time to recognize that you hit them with a tipper forward air and they DI'd so hard away. And you just need to have the dash already ready to go. You need to haul, yeah. You need to haul Ars over there to yeah. get that to get that down here. Wow. But yeah, you need to be dashing as soon as the tipper hits, and then uh, you need to recognize that you need to short hop a down air really, really quickly. It's like a really tight hit confirm. Yeah. Really well done. Sfat is man. He's picking all the right times to approach. He's actually like these running shines he's doing to like catch Marth wave dashing back. Or sorry, dashing back. Laser. Okay, he tried to catch Marth coming in with a dash tech. Kind of a risky play, but like I, I can see it if you're up by this much, you know? Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> Little antsy. Illusion. Illusion. Ah, uh, he tried to get that tipper forward air off the, off the pickup. Oh, okay. really nice get up attack. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually wow. a huge fan of get up attack versus Mars. Because most of the time, if he goes high, uh, it'll hit him back off the stage. And if he goes low, you saw what happened. Right. It's 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 as if you it's as if the opponent just rolled. Two two. Bracket reset situation. Either PewPew is going to win this tournament, or SBAT will reset the bracket. Yeah. And we'll have another best of five set between these two players. Right. I'm personally down to watch more melee. So let's go, SBAT. Great tipper, but good DI. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful stock so far by uh, by PPU. Oh, but the uh, the forward smash. That's really hard rip to do. a little early. Yeah, ca catching side B with forward smash is like a really difficult timing. Wow, that was a nice dash dance from PPU. That is exactly how Marth should play neutral. Uh, doesn't yeah, get the angle he wants. Yeah, most Marths uh, will do that jab uh, edge guard Man, at the ledge. Dude, that uh, pu uh, S. <laughs> What am I talking about? That Espat was not doing uh, the... Man, he is getting grabbed out of his aerials Ooh. over and over this game. Most dude. of the people in the crowd are just like, did that... Uh, uh, dude, again, that, that nair was risky too, man. Espat has started doing these nairs that are just... He's going nuts? A little... Yeah, a little too... <sighs> you know, Alan said uh, when they were playing each other earlier that Kevin uh, PewPew is one of the few players who can really get into Espat's head. Seems like it. And I wonder if that's what we're seeing right now. Which is crazy because that last game, SFAT looked so strong. Yeah. We lost in the. Oh, yeah. Last Dude, the rock stage is is really strong for Fox, but PewPew is actually just making it work right now. He's probably going to survive. PewPew has to play patient. Yeah. Because this is. Oh, my God. They both do. Nice, nice tech. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh, he. Yes. PBU's, PBU's PBU is so happy hyped about because that. he knows he made the right decision. He just went down to the bottom of the stage and buried S Fat. Basically, he to, took his shovel out. He went to Wall Street and traded stocks, is what he just held. Yeah. He is so content to, to, to make that trade. That is a great deal for him because now he has three only stocks got one to win. stock to trade, man. Yeah. Oh! One of the first things they teach you in chess is if you are up in material, you are happy to take trades. That's actually how I know that. It's chess. Yep. Chess thing. And I think dude, that, that, is, that, is, that, that is the tournament. Espad tries to forward be way too close to Marth. Marth says, please respect my range. And respect my gangsta. And cuts him out of the air. And Fox is sent to the bottom of Pokemon Stadium to join the numerous crowd, the numerous fans in the crowd that you can see in the background that are like little pixels. Wait, we have a winner interview. Oh, okay. We don't have the house mic. We don't have Let's translate. We can translate. Okay, transliterate. Um, we asked him, how do you feel? This year I had a lot more emphasis on defense. This year I had a lot more emphasis on defense. A lot more emphasis on baiting, which we saw. I got, got, got some rest. Played hella good. No, didn't beat myself up. Last night I was thinking about it. Yep, thinking about something. 
How old are you? How old is he? 21. 21! Good oh, stuff, Kevin. And, and he's really happy about that, by the way, because uh, because Evo is in a few months. Yes. And, um, Vegas, baby. He's had some sad Evos in the past. Mm -hmm. Sad, sober Evos. Smashers never drink underage. Oh. He's trying to beat everybody. He says he's yes. everyone from 1 to 15 on the, the MIOM top 100. He is looking at you, and he's going to study your matches and figure yes. out how to beat you. He says, I am coming for you, all you guys, all you tough guys. All you tough guys coming for you. He said, if you were top 15 in the world, I'm coming for you. Congratulations to Pew Pew U for taking first place at NorCal Regionals 2015. And congratulations. And being, and being a back-to-back -back NCR champion. What? Back-to-back -back 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 NCR, NCR champion? champion? Congratulations. Dude, N NCR has kind of been the PBU tournament because if you remember, even the first uh, NCR that Melee was at in 2013, PBU uh, defeated Mango yeah. in winners and actually got I, a really impressive third place, third place finish behind Mango and Hungrybox. So please follow PBU on Twitter, at PBU, and on Twitch. He has one of the best Melee house streams, I think. Twitch.tv slash PewPewU. P-E-W-P-E-W-U. Also, congratulations to SFAT. Yeah, Duan. great second place finish. You want fourth place? Fourth place. I don't Fantastic know. Fantastic work. Am I in the money? Well, I hope I'm in the money. Am I in the money? So, thank you so much for watching. And for those of you who are asking the, the perennial question, when's Marvel? Now's Marvel. It's coming up next.